The 37th annual Indiana Fiddlers Gathering is this weekend in Battleground. Director Kirk Hallman joins us in the studio this afternoon with details. Kirk, always a pleasure to see you. Good Thanks. To see you. Who are the headliners this year? Uh, Daryl Anger. First time he's ever been at the Fiddlers Gathering, and we're just thrilled this guy's here. He's amazing. He's played there with Stefan Grappelli, David Grisman, and his own stuff. Uh, Frank Vignola. It's probably one of the top acoustic jazz guitarists in the world today. And Vignola's out of Maine, right? He's out of, um, uh, Daryl's out of uh, Maine. Uh, Frank's out of New York City. Oh, okay. And Frank has, with his, has played with his own groups, Wynton Marcellus, Mark O'Connor, Ringo Starr. I mean, he's on all the Madonna records of the 80s. He's been everywhere, so we're thrilled to have him. And uh, Mike Cleveland and Flamekeeper. Uh, Mike is uh, one of the top bluegrass guys out of Nashville, and he used to play as a little kid. I wanted to bigger things. We finally been able to afford them this weekend. Yeah. How do you get, how do you decide who is you know headliners and how um, do you reach out to these? Well, guys? We, we there's a few people we try to get every year, and there's a few headliners we put you know bids in, and if one works out, and that's great, and we can kind of work and fill in around that. But it's a little bit of a crapshoot, a little bit of planning. The uh, fiddlers gathering. Talk about the reputation because you're getting people from. 29 all states over the now. country now. Um, yeah. What kind of reputation does the gathering have? It's a uh, real high quality event, a uh, laid back event. It's a non contest event, which is real unusual. And um, people locally don't often realize that there are, you know, we have such a national following. But wherever there is an event like that, the local people usually don't realize that. But it, we, probably half the people come from the region, half the other people come from out of state. Um, and uh, the region, the regional bands, the, there's somebody called the Bum Diddy Barn yeah. Dance Band. They're always fun names. And the Woodstone Flapjacks, yeah. they're a personal favorite of mine. Uh, <laughs> I like those guys a lot. Um, talk about some of the local acts that are going to be there. Um, the Bum Diddy Barn Dance Band. They're Robert Freeman and Megan Green from Purdue University. And uh, long-time, old-time musicians. And we uh, talked them into, they play around town, but we thought they merited a, a, a a slot on the stage. Um, they play music that kind of invokes the old barn dance shows, the WLS and WLW stuff, and uh, the Woodstow Flapjacks, which everybody around town is pretty familiar with. But we also have the Baylor Graber Band from Kokomo and Country Colonels, um, a group of, of uh, older guys who've been playing since every Fiddler's Gathering in 73, traditionally open the weekend. Yeah, and we've had them uh, on this show. Now, yeah. this all kicks off on Friday evening. Friday, 8 o'clock. Uh, kind of take us a little bit through the weekend. Um, we have four major concerts, 8 o'clock Friday, 2 and 8 on Saturday, and 2 o'clock on Sunday. Those are the paying events. And surrounding those are um, free events, workshops, gospel show, children's show, a dance, which on the website... The complicated schedule is pretty made out there. Yeah, okay. Um, the uh, popularity of this kind of music, it's coming back, right? It's yeah. Kind of a root sort of a music. It is, and in the last five or six years, our biggest growing segment of our audience are 20 and 30 somethings. And those have been basically the bands we've been booking uh, nationally. Like, you know, Flapjacks are pretty old, but. There tends to be these renaissances, you know, in the 60s there was a big one, and now in the late 90s, um, actually one of the bands we, that reformed and we have coming back, the Frey Hoppers were the ones who kind of spurred it on in the 90s, then they broke up, they reformed, but they were kind of responsible for this big renaissance with young musicians. Everybody sort of associates the Fiddlers Gathering with the last weekend in June, which yep. is what, what it's always yep. been, but you guys are real active year-round. Talk about some of the Yeah, we, have, uh, we go in schools. I mean, we bring... We bring um, high-end national bands to local schools during the year. Um, we have a scholarship program to um, all expenses paid to um, the Mark O'Connor Camp in Nashville. Um, we give it one, one of those every year, and we're kind of open all year as a resource. You know, people trying to hook up musicians, and you know, they want weddings or whatever. Other musicians want to know how to put a press kit together or something. We're there for them all year like that. Okay, real quickly, uh, people can show up and ticket themselves and just head on in. Yep, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so there's no pre-sale. Um, pre-sales end today. Okay, so you got to pretty fast to get them. All right, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the uh, battlefield in Battleground Kirk. I yeah. hope you have a great turnout. It looks like the weather's going to cooperate. Be Little hot I think so. Area. It rains all the time, but okay. know, that's, that's fiddlers. Have fun. <laughs> we'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> well, just ahead to head.